I am a big, big fan of the E's series. I've enjoyed every single one of them. Even E's 5, which never came out of Japan, and it's bad. I don't know why it took me so long to play this new goddamn piece of trash! An exclusive on the Nintendo DS and a very, very, very horrible spin-off. So, are you ready to meet the absolute worst East game in the series? Alright, then let's begin. E's Strategy was released in Japan back in 2006. It was later localized to Europe and Australia that very same year. The game was never released in North America, thankfully. The company behind its development was Future Creates, whoever the hell that is, and not Falcom. I don't know what Falcom was thinking when ceding the rights of the name to an obscure company, only to create a nerve-wracking catastrophe. E-Strategy is not a grid-based tactics game. No, it is a real-time strategy bastard that's nothing but an Age of Empires lame-ass wannabe. It starts off with a story about a bunch of gems that the Roman Empire is now looking for, so it's this loser's job to get them all before they do, his name is Abel, not at all, even though he's still a red-haired adventurer. I guess they wanted to keep the tradition at least on that. So he's friend with a princess, she gets kidnapped, he goes to rescue her, yeah, it's a very generic pair of main characters. I find it so unbelievable that such a horrendous game could have a decent story and a big focus on it. Yeah, you'll be reading a hell of a lot here, so at least that'll keep you entertained. Worry not though, as the gameplay itself will ruin absolutely everything! I don't even know where to start with this blatant piece of crocodile's ass! Just by looking at the in-game graphics you can already tell it's gonna suck balls! While the characters, whether it's a cutscene or a battle, move in slow fucking motion. The music is a terrible arrangement of the overall theme of the first East and my god it blows hard. Most themes are forgettable, but you'll remember them for how tediously repetitive they can get. So, like I said at the beginning, it's a real-time strategy RPG, and even though I'm a fan of the genre, here I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't even know what's going on here! Alright, I guess I'll start saying that you'll play through many obnoxious and boring tutorials about how to move your character. This can be done with both the stylus or with menus. If it can be done with the latter, why the fuck will somebody bother using the stylus? It takes forever for them to move around and fight, of course. There's also the Age of Empires characteristics. You'll hire soldiers to do various jobs, such as farming, gathering or building. And of course, it also takes them a million years to spawn or even do anything. Battles, of course, are played in real time. You just tell your units what to do with the clunkiest and clankiest controls. After a convoluted fallout between them, you'll win. Sometimes you'll do these extremely small and completely irrelevant fights with one character. Yeah. Other times, you'll have to endure these long-ass and god-awful missions. The more you advance, the longer some of them will get. That's all! That's all I can say about this piece of shit! Were you expecting me to get farther than this? Have you lost your mind? Why did Falcom allow this to happen? Who the fuck thought it would be a good idea to create the lamest spin-off ever conceived? This is an insult to the E-Series, an unforgivable obscenity! A cock-sucking blasphemy from the depths of Gehenna! God damn it, even hell must be more fun than this boring abomination! 
I've never been so damn happy in my life to see a JRPG that was never released in North America. It makes me think that not every game needs a localization. Stay away from this phony RTS. Don't waste a single minute of your time with it. I swear, whatever the fuck you're doing with your life right now is 10 times more interesting than playing this disgraceful monstrosity. Hello? Is this Toshihiro Kondo, the president of Falcom? Well, hello, sir! I am your YouTuber, Eric Land on RPG. I'm a big fan of your work. I love the E series, the Trail series, even Tokyo Santa, dude. That was pretty darn cool, man. Thanks, I admire your work, sir. Great games, great series. Now, would you care to explain why the fuck did you allow that stupid ass obscure company to create that horrible spin off on the Nintendo DS called E Strategy? Like, what the fuck were you thinking, man? Were you mental back then, man? Were you fucking retarded? Did you really believe you were gonna make a lot of money with that piece of trash of a game? Hello? Hello? He hung up on me. The nerve. Piece of 